it's finally that time. We're gonna pull the motor out tonight. So my buddy Nick, like I mentioned, is building that crazy big block van for Cletus and cars. So I gotta get him this mock-up trans out so he can start working on that while I'm away this weekend. So one of the things I need to do right now is the elbow and the throttle body assembly has to come off. So I can go ahead and put the engine lift plate on. I gotta open up the engine hoist and get this, uh, get this whole motor out. Now, one of the things that most people don't know, well, I take that back. One of the things that a lot of people don't know about doing motor plate setups, which is how I have my engine mounted. So like I said before, this plate connects to the chassis I weld, had bracket welded there. And then same with this side. So this is actually my engine mount. I don't have anything connecting the subframe to the engine. You can see in there, there's nothing connecting it. So the coolest part about this is the fact that I can actually drop my subframe and the engine is completely in the car still, which I know a lot of you Miata guys, if you've ever been slammed like I have in the past and you break an oil pan, that's the biggest pain in the butt ever because you have to drop the whole subframe and try to suspend the engine up to try to change your oil pan or you got to either pull the whole motor out. It's a big fiasco. So this was actually kind of a neat idea. Well, it's not really an idea. It just, it's neat how this works out. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull my throttle cable off. I'm gonna pull the elbow off and I'm gonna get over to getting this uh, lift plate on. Well, now I got the plate on. I just got rid of the alternator, um, anything else that was in the way. One thing I gotta do now is actually make sure all of the intake manifold bolts are tight and there, because it would kind of suck if this wasn't secured when I'm trying to pick this out with the hoist. So what needs to happen now, like I said, I'm gonna do these bolts and then I'm gonna unfold my good old harbor freight engine hoist and bring her over here and get her all situated to start pulling this it's getting real it's getting real Well, that was a, a lot more difficult than I imagined. The floor jack didn't get up high enough to touch the bottom of the subframe. So I had to use the hoist with ratchet strap to lower down the subframe. So I got the whole subframe assembly sitting on these carts. And like I mentioned before, since the engine's motor plated, I have nothing underneath the engine now. So what I need to do now, I'm gonna hook up the stand to the lift plate i'm going to take off that transmission cross member and everything's going to be coming out i gotta say this is a workout by yourself so it's pretty fun though i like uh taking stuff apart it's easier than putting stuff back together
Well, I think we have a mission accomplished. So, like I said, the point of this was to get the engine out. This old crusty girl from 1960 forever is going to Nick so we can get the uh, mock-up setup done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the three bolts that are holding this on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the engine up on the stand and uh, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right, well, I'm down for the night, I'm pooped. Got the motor on the stand. I got the engine bay empty. So what I gotta do now is I'm gonna go ahead and weld up a couple more little areas that we didn't address before. I have a couple of reinforcement plates from V8 Roadsters I gotta put in here and here. I'm gonna grind all this stuff smooth. I gotta notch this area right here for the trans. Um, I'll probably bang up this a little bit more and then everything's gonna get welded up. Like I mentioned, this stuff's getting welded up. All these random holes over here are getting welded up. So that is uh, the agenda for now. I gotta get everything ready so I can bring Randy the car for paint. Um, I'm hoping that the third week of February at the latest, at the absolute latest. I want the car back in the garage at the beginning of March. Um, that way I can go through and reassemble everything. I'm hoping to have the car done probably the second week of March. My birthday is March 16th, so it'd be really cool to have it running before that. I don't even care if it's just enough for me to crank it and let it idle, but uh, it would mean the world to me where I would be able to, or if I would be able to get it running then. So that is like huge push for uh, this. So I'm out of breath, I'm tired. It's been a long day for me. It's uh, currently 5.45 in the morning. So I've had a, I've had a long day, so. Just wanted to show you guys an update. Like I said before, I'll be in Bradenton all weekend for the X275 race. I'll be shooting video for that, but I don't have my desktop with me there, so I'll have to upload a video on Monday when I return. So look forward to that. You guys have a great rest of your week and weekend. I'll see you next week.